Good afternoon, Sipleman. This is Seb Shah from uh, SS Loft UK, uh, Shine Suns Loft. Welcome to our channel. Uh, today, this segment's about uh, software management, uh, loft management system. Software is that they're helping you uh, manage your loft system. There's no way we are endorsing this. So I've had a lot of uh, queries because we mentioned in one of our videos uh, a loft management system. Well, that system is currently being designed by myself and uh, it's not uh, out there for public release. Okay, so once we've tested and we're happy with what it does, then I'll be happy to dish out trial copies to you guys or free copies to you guys to uh, you know test drive it. But now, and very quickly today, I'm just going to uh, fly through these, okay, uh, because I'm not here to endorse them, and which I'm not doing so. Now, uh, the first one we're going to look at is uh, the Hawkeye management system. Well, it's appealing to the eye. Look, somebody's actually taking care of uh, sitting down and actually working on a design, the whole outlook. So if you look at it here, it's got a very good presentation, but the presentation is not what we're after. We're after the functionality, okay, the functions of it. Now, but it does help, though. It's appealing to the eye. This is the main. Uh, pedigree view or the main page when you log in uh, this is uh, all the birds you've entered in your case when you will enter them all this is pretty much customize, uh, customizable these in the preference these tabs you can customize uh, to what you want also you have a grid view, grid view here of bird data races progeny uh, medical records uh, reports uh, finances so it's pretty much thought after somebody who's put it together they've really thought about other things not just when in there open visual basics bang 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 and uh, here comes your pigeon software and neither i'm saying this is good now this will cost you it'll cost you 80 dollars okay but if you do have a previous version it will cost you 10 dollars uh, to upgrade to the current version which is eight now uh, let's look at the breeding system uh pretty much average uh but it offers you a bit more functionality here of uh, it's cross-linking into other sections other functions of the software so that's pretty much it's helpful so you, as you can see from here uh, I think you've got here splitting breeding, uh, split breeding pairs, preview loft cards, uh, you know, so it gives you a bit more. Uh, these are standard. Okay, these are quite standard. Let's move on. Let's go on to uh, the pigeon utility. Okay, this is about the specific bird in question. Uh, you can put the eye picture there. It's the picture itself. It's uh, sire, dam, the birds' uh, ratings, they call it. But we call, I mean, I call it dimensions. Okay, the body size, whatnot. Okay, wing type eye type and so on and so forth now moving on these are uh your entry uh, sheets for racing uh folk up so it's kind of it gives you an excel uh format of that and it's quite handy but it, in our terms in tipler flying it's slightly different it slightly works differently now here is a touchy subject i'll go into in a minute uh invoicing gives you an invoicing option so you can uh, you know it makes a lot it makes things a lot easier so you don't have to open two programs to do one job now feather merchant is a term which is predominantly used and i don't quite like that to be honest with you because look if somebody starts up the hobby or has been keeping pigeons you have to go out there buy birds buy bloodlines okay to improve your uh, current uh, performance or the birds in your loft now the feed the supplements the medication the accessories the loft itself the lighting the heating the fuel the postage costs Everything adds up. So you are indirectly, if you keep on uh, doing this, uh, there'll come a time that you'll have limited finances available to fund your hobby. So in that aspect, then you, if you have overstock birds and if you have surplus, you can sell them. You know, there's nothing wrong with selling the birds. There's, you can sell them and that money will be reinvested. It'll help you keep going. So I mean, people who use feather merchants, sell rapes i think anyway moving on the uh, it carries uh printable breeding uh or loft records uh or in other words breeding cards uh loft or loft cards as well uh, as referred to by some fanciers uh so but i'm not a great fan uh because of my background in it i like to do everything electronically and on cloud platform okay so there's no trail paper trail at all and my machines are not burdened with uh extra data storage wise and my processors are saved from overworking. Now, these two are basically the pedigree uh, charts. You can print them out. This is a bit cosmetic, glossy, not bothered. Now, these are per bird records, uh, races flown by birds, whatnot. So all that data is collected here. So that's another handy feature. And if you go into uh, this year planner here, so you can also add your medical treatment records to this. Okay, vaccinations, and you can plan entries, races whatsoever. So that's handy. 
Uh, now this is a, just another view of the uh, the rating systems. That's just an additional pop up. I don't even know why they've got this up here. This is an end of year uh, performance record, so it gives you. Uh, a, c a collected data of what you've done or what your birds have done over the season. So it's pretty handy as well. Uh, well, that was the Hawkeye uh, loft management system and uh, it will cost you $80. 21 day trials, uh, trial period. I've actually downloaded this, I played around with this. So I, I think it was, it was quite okay you know, for, for what it is. But $80, not of my money, no. And $10 uh, to upgrade if you do already have an existing uh, version of this software installed, I believe it's 2007. Uh, so it's not version eight, current is version eight. So that's the Hawkeye. Uh, now let's move on uh, to the Pigeon Loft uh, organizer. Now for me, most important thing of any uh, company offering a service on the internet is that when I go to the website, I would like to see everything the way it should be. It needs to function. So I was quite disappointed when I clicked on the feature uh, page. It could be an oversight, but there was nothing there. So that sends alarm bells to me. That what happens in to, if I need support? Okay, they've got all the information, all the details here. If we go on to, I think it says free updates. It will give you all the updates are free. And I think the other ones are free also. I do believe there is a contact number somewhere you can phone them up. I haven't done so. So I don't know if it's live or not, or if somebody actually mans it, or if it's a recorded message, or you get transferred to Indonesia, India. Uh, other than that, I'm not going to download this, to be honest with you. That's that's a put off for me straight away. And uh, it will cost you £58, uh, including handling and uh, postage. So £54 for the system uh, itself, and then uh, £4 for the delivery these are window based and they do tell you to uh you know use this program if you want to run it on mac i'm not going to spend extra money i mean there are free, free utilities out there for me to actually do that but i'm not going to for, for the average person i'm not going to go out there and spend extra money just so i could run this i paid 60 pounds for it's pretty much the same it's pretty much it it, it, it says it does the same it's got the same functionality uh and whatnot but for 60 pounds no thank you i personally i wouldn't uh go for it uh, and that's pretty much it. If you do want to go onto the website and have a look and just scroll through, it's disorganized information to me. As a user, as a consumer, for me, it's a disorganized information. And like I said, I'm not endorsing this uh, product or any other product, and neither I am uh, being very negative towards. I'm just highlighting my findings for the fences out there. Okay, now let's move on to the next software. Now this is called the Loft Management System. Uh, this is very basic. This is this is me going back into the 90s and looking at uh, an IT based thing and I'm thinking oh, tons of reading. In this day and age, we don't do that. Okay, apparently it's a version eight. Uh, it keeps records of all birds with pedigrees going back as far as you have data for, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so it's got a bird detail form, export import birds pedigree, performance rate system uh ready for birds point uh, awarded depending upon the position a bird comes in race okay uh race sheet with pools uh total uh start point distances pairing laying hatching browse the descendants okay so that's uh, progeny fair enough uh and list your birds okay according to sex sire dam color strain eye so pretty much what we covered so it's pretty much what the others do also. Now, here is the good bit. It supports Windows 95, 98, Me, NT, 2000, XP, Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8. And that's it. So in terms of me, who uses uh, various other platforms, it's very limited. So I can only run it on a Windows-based system. The other thing, it will cost you £55 per copy. And uh, it's uh, by East Coast Software. Uh, neither I'm endorsing this. Let's have a look. Have they got any other uh, upgrades? Ah, uh, look at that. £25 for an upgrade. And if you lose your CD, it costs you another £10 to get that back. I'm the sort of guy that I'll go for free up uh, upgrades, okay? Of If it's within the same version, let's be fair to them also. If it's in the, within the same version, same infrastructure, same platform, you know, it sh must be free. Because don't forget, those updates, are not, I don't know if you're going to enhance features, but if you do enhance features, add different features on, that becomes a different version. So for the current version, if you're going to charge people to upgrade uh, 25, definitely not for me as a fancier. Would you really depart with £55 for a pop-up which comes up? Let's just go through, let's be fair. Let's have a look. So it's again what the others do. Uh, it's the same thing, but this is very basic. Uh, now, let's have a look at this. Okay, yeah, it's very basic uh, indeed, but it just it contains the same information. So this is dating back to 2009, so I don't know when was this was up, up, updated, or have they got another version for it? I think the best thing is that you log onto their website and have a look, because this is just gonna kill time here. Now, let's move on. 
this is an online system, cloud-based system, Pigeon DB. Uh, I've had a look at the video and it was just, uh, it was poorly edited as well. It claims to be doing this, doing that, uh, which other softwares do and don't offer. So it's an online system. So basically the advantage uh, of having a system similar to this is, I'm not saying for this system, accessible as long as you can connect to the internet. And that's what they should uh, also mention. So uh, the trial is free, it's a month's trial, then you got $10 a year, and then uh, they got yearly plans, two and uh, five year plan, so it's $43. It's, uh, you get all the premium service, and so you get all of that, and uh, you get to do that not on your machine, but in a browser from a cloud platform. All it's done is that a dynamic website CMS system uh, hosted onto servers uh, located all over the place and that's where all the information is derived from just like an internet page okay just like your say email client uh, so if you are up for that you can go for this no problem whatsoever uh, but do look into it give it a trial trial all of them and see what it does but be very careful with uh, when you do install softwares onto your system because uh, you'll have registry entries Okay, and they don't, when you uninstall the program normally, it doesn't delete registry entries. You need special programs to do that. They'll actually go into it and delete all the entries from the registry. Now, uh, that's enough about the Pigeon database. Uh, so I'm definitely not going to be using it. Here's what I will use, okay, if I'm a fancier, because this is free. It's called the Pigeon Planner. Uh, it's very basic, no nonsense approach, and it gives you what you require. I mean, let's face it, look, we can go on. Uh, here and you know I want to put the nail color I want to put this color I want to put this I want to put the beak color we can go on but at the end of the day we just need some basic information and it's asking for donation and that's uh, not compulsory and the good thing about this is that it runs on the Mac operating system without any additional software required it's a better package I've tested both of these and I haven't come across any glitch whatsoever. And it's got a Windows uh, installer, which most of you guys should uh, use and just leave the others alone. Uh, if you've got a Windows based machine, then move over to Launchpad. Downloadable files, project files are at Launchpad site. I'm gonna leave a link to all this in the product description. And what you need to be doing is either you can uh, do the, uh, the 32 version, Win32, uh, download a zip file, uh, it's also known as a portable file, or you can uh, download an XC, executable, for the Windows uh, machines. Just download, click on it, and it will start the installer. That's all you need to be doing. But I will definitely uh, will say that, look, give this a go. It's free. It will keep your records, okay? And so you can play around with it. Like I said, the main thing is it's free. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please do leave any comments. And if I missed out any other softwares, please do mention them in the comments and do spare me. I'm doing this just solely, or we do this just solely, for the fences out there, whether they keep bracers, tipplers, tumblers, fancy pigeons. But this is for all you guys out there. It takes a lot of time and effort for us to put these videos together. Please do like and subscribe uh, to our videos at uh, SS uh, Lost UK on YouTube. Please do promote them. If you promote them, it does encourage us to do more. Thank you very much indeed for all the likes and all the views uh, we get and all the shares we get. Please keep it going. So this is Seb Shah. Signing out for now from SS Loft UK. Stay tuned.